everybody, Lauren here from Hunter Valley Ants. I really just want to show you guys this really awesome colony we've got here. I haven't even looked for the queen today, but she's somewhere in here. We might find her during this video, but it hasn't been my priority because I've been looking at um, what they've been doing overnight. I gave these guys a woodies um, that we've been breeding and they've just been going to town on them. Um, they've been doing some awesome hunting and um, they've been feeding them to their larvae and um, yeah I'll just kind of zoom around a bit now the amazing amazing thing about this colony is that um, when we originally collected it on we started the dig on Christmas Eve and we dug Christmas Day as well we got thousands I would say well over a thousand pupae and larvae it was insane but we didn't find our queen and that was before we realized that these colonies um, have got predominantly <laughs> look at that one there um, predominantly ergotoid but at the time um, so we think that these are mamesi for Kai we're actually sending them off um, to the University of New England for a positive ID um, another species we just have collected for positive ID we think they're mamesi for Kai but um, they're not known for ergotoids. But anyway, that's a whole other story. But we went and saw some um, nearby diggings, uh, which had been done by what we think was an echidna. And we pulled out what appeared to be a colony um, that maybe was about one or two years old. So we gave this tiny, tiny colony all of this pupae. It was mass amounts. And we kept the previous colony to look after massive amounts of larvae in the meantime so once <laughs> there's some more another um another woody so once all the um pupae hatched they then had the capacity to start looking after the larvae so when that happened um we were able to do one massive epic brood boost so this queen, which we estimate to be about two years old, ended up with a colony, as you can see, of this massive, epic size. Here you can see this is one that they've just brought down. Now because the queen has all of these resources, as you can see down here, check out this egg pile. She has got... I'm just trying to get focus on it she has got egg piles just galore it's hard to get focus there's more eggs over here so you would never ever see a queen of just a few years being able to lay all of these eggs which go into the hundreds and hundreds I would not even be able to count them you never see a queen of this age being able to lay this many eggs. And these are all of this larvae is all of hers. This is all developed in time. So we, we've gone way past our own brood boost. Um, this larvae is hers. Um, They've completely trashed this chamber. Um, but yeah, you would never see a queen be able to lay all of that without the resources of all of these ants. So it makes this an incredible, incredible colony. And it is one that will be going up for adoption in the future. So up the top here, we've had some uh, cool hunting going on. As you can see, they've been. Um, I'm kind of ashamed at how messy the outworld is at the moment. It was only just a couple of days ago that we were able to properly oil it, um, so I won't show too much. But we are going to decorate it up beautifully very soon. But yeah, as you can see, they're just bringing, bringing them all down. So there you go. So because this was uh, collected on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, 
the queen's name is Christmas. Like I said, I don't even know where she is. She's all blending in somewhere there. Um, <laughs> she does have a signature move where she likes to hang upside down, but it's not her. Th there she is. I'll see if I can get a good picture of her. Pretty sure if it's her right there. I got my zoom correct. <laughs> Terrible taking videos. There she is, Queen Christmas. So there's our video. But I just thought it was really cool watching the uh, mealworms go to town on these woodies.